You know that your video game has made it big when it has a cartoon, a breakfast cereal, and a board game. Now, I'm not sure if Fruit Ninja has a cartoon or breakfast cereal yet like Pac-Man did, but it does have a board game. This is Fruit Ninja Slice of Life, the board game, and Derek and I are going to play this and uh, see how it works. It has, it has katana swords, so things could get ugly. Hopefully they're plastic. <laughs> Maybe. They, I mean, there's children playing on the back of the box here, and they're smiling, and they're not... Hey, nobody's poking eyeballs out. I think that's an important lesson when playing with plastic swords. Do not poke eyeballs out. Because that, then you can't see to play video games. Right. Are right, you ready? As ready as I'll ever be. You don't look enthusiastic about Fruit Ninja Slice of No, Life. I'm actually very excited. And the fortunate thing is it's for kids ages 5 and up, which is great. So you're able to play it. Barely. Yeah, apparently. Here's the unboxing of Fruit Ninja Slice of Life. Let's take a look at what we've what we've gotten here. We have <laughs> swords and fruit. Wow. Swords and fruit. This looks like a Ninja Turtle Halloween costume. How it would be packaged with your plastic weaponry. That's a good analogy. It does kind of look like a Ninja Turtle Halloween costume. All like it needs is a turtle mask and a vanilla ice rap song about said turtles and you're good to go. Ninja. Ninja. Fruit. Alright, well we've unpacked the game and as, as you can see it is extremely hard to hurt yourself with these katana swords. Although Derek is doing his, his best to try. It, it doesn't work. I'm sorry. I, I tried stabbing my hand. It, no. They're safe. For ages five and up. Like, three-year-olds would mangle themselves with these things, but five and up, we'll assume they're not going to poke out their eyeballs. So, um, since we don't know how to play the game, we're going to have to RTFM and figure this out with the one sheet of instructions. Mattel's really condensed to these instructions. Let's see. If you turn over the fruit and see a bomb, you have to try to stab yourself with the plastic... My, oh, no, you have to turn it back over and keep trying. Sorry, I read that wrong. All right, well, let's... Let's just play and figure out how to do this game, all right? Let's do it. Rock. You got your cards. Um, shuffle the deck. Okay. And I think I have to take all the fruit out of here. Wait, you're saying I should cut the deck? Cut the deck, I think. These are kiwis. Got watermelons. Uh, <laughs> it looks like an apple. Lots of fruit here. All right, you just drop open. Now we each have 10 pieces of fruit, two different kinds of fruit each. And as you see, one of them has a bomb on the back and the other has nutritious, delicious plastic fruit. So, after shuffling the deck, we are now ready to play Fruit Ninja, A Slice of Life. This is what a card looks like and it'll tell you what you're supposed to flip over. In this case, it's just an apple. Derek wins. Story of my life. So I want to flip a kiwi, an apple, and a lemon. I got a bomb. So what does that mean? You have to flip it back. That should mean all oh, explosion. The kiwi. I can't be stopped. Damn it. Ha <laughs> ha. That's a bomb. No. Get your freaking. That's my <laughs> apple. No, it's That's not. my apple. No, it's not. Kiwi, at oh, lemon. I that win. Get, oh, how did no, that get flipped over? Oh, no, I got it. I got it. Oh, wait, I didn't know you had to take the card. It's in the instructions. Read them. <laughs> All right. You ready? Let's go. There it is, Derek. See it? I see it, Mark. Wait, you're you're a cheat. How dare you? It's oh, a bomb. There. How'd you flip some of those? Oh no! You don't want anyone- I, I think they need to put an additional rule in where you can't just put the bombs in one row and the regular fruit in the other. You gotta shuffle the fruit around a little bit. Yeah. Alright, All right, let's try to keep each, keep each other's fruit separate and we're ready to go. Ready? Yeah! Kiwi lemon. It's a bomb. Yeah! I got one. <laughs> 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 
Ah, no, I'm fine. Really, it's plastic. Oh. Everything's cool. Even though Derek is is in the lead here, we're gonna we're gonna play one more, double or nothing on this one. If I win, I win double the awesomeness. If you win, then you just win. You ready? <laughs> Let's go. All right. Well, that seems like an unfair bet. Apple. Apple. <laughs> 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 And there you have it, the epic, the epic battle that is Fruit Ninja slice of life. An interesting novelty game, for sure. And aimed at a younger audience, it is ages five and up. If you're um, like really into Fruit Ninja and, and you're in college, this might make for an interesting drinking game because it does oh, have yeah. swords. And <laughs> like a complete lack of motor control might make this one even better. Yeah. Um, so maybe a good college game, but uh, somewhere in between, like if you're a serious Fruit Ninja player or a serious board game player, no, I, I don't think so, but... Well, this is more of a toy, but I think you nailed it on the, the drinking. This could be very fun in a dorm or yeah. something like that. Could be also dangerous, but these are <laughs> these are really hard to hurt yourself with. I tried stabbing Derek, I tried stabbing my hand, pulling off the thing from Aliens. So fans of Fruit Ninja or fans of Fruit Ninja with kids or fans of Fruit Ninja in college may want to check this game out. You can get it at thinkgeek.com. It's Fruit Ninja Slice of Life. Slice of Fruit!